right, let's do a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much, Virgos, for joining me for a, a read for you and your person, whoever's coming towards you. Wow. Let your friends help you came out, but I'm not going to take it yet. So this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and um, we're going to call on your spirit guides and your higher self to get a clear guided message for you and your person. So here we go, Virgo. This is gonna be what counts. Just so just one card. All sorts of energies are coming out actually. It's safe for you to love. Mm -hmm. Open up your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Romantic feelings, you have romantic feelings for someone. Mm -hmm. Let's see what their side is like. Let go of control issues. Um, this could be the one. Hmm. So this is something where it doesn't feel safe, but it's saying like it's safe. And this person might have, you know, control issues because they don't feel safe, but you do have feelings. This could be the one. So maybe you're not sure, maybe they're not sure, but there is this sort of energy of like, if you let go of that which is getting in between you, this would come together, okay? For some of you, you might've just met this person. But I'm not getting a strong energy one way or another. But if you're questioning them, this is a good sign that they are your person, okay? This person you're asking about. You might see them as a little controlling, though. Like, they try to, like, I don't know what they do to control, but let's find out. If you'd like a personal read, Virgo, my information is down below in the description box. And again, either side can resonate and um, just take what resonates. There we go. Judgment in reverse. Hmm. See, so you're really not sure if this person is your person. It looks like you don't know how you feel. This person comes in kind of strong too. So this might this might come in before you're ready for it to come in. Like it doesn't feel like it's in alignment with like what you're ready for, maybe. But it feels like more like, hey, is this my person? It doesn't feel like it is. But this person has wants to offer you love. This person has a lot of love with you. They want something to start with love. All right, this person has trust issues with you, it looks like. That's weird. They love you, but they perceive you as somebody maybe negative, maybe kind of into yourself, into your own thing, not as interested in them. And it kind of looks like you might not be, but you have romantic feelings for them. Okay, and you see this person all cut up in their head. They don't relax. They don't go with the flow. Again, like letting go of control issues. You feel like this person's controlling. This person might be like so controlling so to speak, that like, um, hmm, how do I want to say this? That you have to almost question, like you almost want to question, like, is this my person? Like this person's, their energy's pushed out onto you so much that you kind of keep to yourself and then they perceive you as someone keeping to yourself and maybe they think of it as mean. I don't know. They think you're mean, kind of. Yeah, you don't feel like there's a lot of balance in this relationship. It doesn't feel safe to you. It doesn't feel balanced. They don't feel safe either. Um, hmm. However, what they're saying is, hey, whatever you're worried about, like whatever energy I was pushing onto you, Virgo, I'm not doing that anymore. So you might think I do it, you might think I'm controlling, but I'm just all about love. I've learned to love myself, something like that. All right, the Empress kinda wanted to show up here. Let's see. Gosh, this is crazy. You are gonna communicate with them, but you have your, the King of Swords, you have your boundaries set up and you're kind of, Head over heart when it comes to this person, all right? 
So you have romantic feelings, but you're using strong logic and discernment when it comes to this person, but it does look like communication is going to happen. And they are going to move towards you. They do want to let go of whatever they were holding on to, whatever control issues, whatever was in the past. They want to let go of that past, that energy that was stuck, and they want to move towards you. They're sort of at a crossroads, and they sort of, I don't know if sort of is the right way to put it, but they feel like they can come towards you and be victorious. I feel like the reading saying, this could be victorious. This person, there's not as much of a need for you to protect yourself from their controlling behavior, so to speak, because they've let go of these things that they've been holding on to. So let's see, why judgment in reverse? Hmm. Yeah, it's like you're like, is this the right time? Is spirit willing this? Or is this something that's meant to be? Should I manifest this? Should I make more things happen? I'm not sure. Like you're questioning, should I go forward? Should I make this happen? I have romantic feelings for this person. This person's been confusing. It hasn't been so safe. I've had to kind of, you know, those people like maybe needy kind of moving at you and kind of stuck in their head too much or loopy in the head. Maybe projecting that you're negative. Maybe you are negative. Maybe because of their energy, you ended up being kind of mean to them, pushed off, you know, kind of in your own energy, in your own space. And you love them or you have feelings for them. And yet you're like, I don't know. I mean, even though there's a strong romantic connection here worth exploring, do I want to do this again kind of energy or should I do this with this person? And according to their side, it looks like they're... They're different. They're, oh my God, this person like wants to come in and have like a reunion with you, three of cups. This person, this person wants happiness with you. The three of cups, yeah. Okay. They see you as, the ten of coins went on the side, like like this. So it's like in between, like they see you as possible stability, possible like financial security, like part of their family. Um, maybe they see you as somebody who is very wealthy, um, financially se secure, stable, make good money, you know. They might also see that you, that you work on money, you focus on money. Um, they also think that maybe money and security isn't what makes you happy for some of you, which is, um, interesting. I don't know. They're, they're unhappy with, I don't know, the ten of coins there, clarifying the unhappy. Three of swords. So you see them as kind of heartbroken, traumatized full of heartache. So you know that this person's like been sad over you. You know, you might have been living together and it was unhappy. Okay, so they had there has been a heartache. There's been a lot of anxiety due to heartache. It could be um I mean, who knows what happened first? This person, you know, you got a little cold and this person got a little needy and then it just escalated into something a little toxic here. Um See, you don't know. You're like, is this the end of a cycle here? Because um, my memory of this or what I know of this, and if you're still in a relationship with them, and you're like, if this isn't balanced. This isn't balanced. So you're like, is this a new cycle? Is this an old cycle? And this person loves you. This person loves you ace of cups three of cups the lovers and they want to let go of like their desire for this connection to the point where it makes them needy they're letting go like they might be letting go of you and moving on i let me get more cards but it's more the energy i'm getting more is they're letting go of the things that made them feel like heartbroken and anxious and controlling okay Five of coins. Huh. 
Five of coins. Two of coins. This person's definitely at a crossroads. They're fighting balance. They are finding balance. They do want to move towards you. You, on the other hand, I feel like you want to talk, you're willing to talk to them about this separation. But I also see your energy is like, because you're so unsure, it's like you might dip your toe in with a strong protection sword, you know, of words. You're going to protect yourself with your words and your mental discernment and not allow like your romantic feelings to kind of take over. And for some of you, maybe this has been a struggle. Maybe you're going to communicate how you've been feeling left out too and that you've missed them. I don't know. This is interesting. Virgo, let me know. What does this person want to say to you? You're too good for me. This person put you on a pedestal. I can't do this. You're an anxiety. You're controlling. So they think you're controlling. So that's interesting. Okay, what do you want to say to them? Well, these rates. I need space. Making plans. Cut off. All right. I don't know. I feel like your energy is very much like I can't. God, it's like both of you guys. Huh. Both of you guys have a lot of resistance to each other. However, this person has a willingness to like balance out their energy and then move towards you, it looks like. You know, still, it's like this person is raising their vibration. Fear and anxiety are interfering. It's like they had a hard time. Like Maybe they left you because they just couldn't take their insecurities anymore but they have so much love for you, but they're like kind of traumatized by, it looks like a strong push and pull energy where you need your space, you need to cut them off or they, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if they cut, cut you off though. They're basically just saying like, I can't do this energy anymore. I really feel like they dropped their fears, their trauma and their sorrows and their heartache in regards to you or anything that was already in them, right? And letting go of their control issues. And and even like... It's like they put you so high on a pedestal that they... It's almost like it was overwhelming to them. And then for you to like kind of do your own thing and not engage too much in a heart space level to them. Just because energetically it seemed too... Like you needed space, you know? too controlling for you yeah that's what I'm getting it traumatized them it triggered them and they're releasing those triggers it looks like you know for them maybe it's safe for them to love in general like maybe they have a fear of love maybe you have a fear of love you know a true connection and so you're kind of manifesting all these fears between the two of you um it looks like you have feelings for this person. It also looks like you're pretty much like, I don't know, you know? I don't know. So let's see, what other cards can we do here? What else do we have for Virgo and their person? No. In the near future. Unlikely. All right. I don't know, Virgo. I I don't really feel like perfect timing. I'm not saying that this isn't your person, but it looks like for some of you, when this person, like, you got to let this person go. It looks like. You need space. It looks like you're going to cut them off. Um, 
They do want to move towards you. They do want to make an offer. But they are at a crossroads. And really for them, it's about letting go of their trauma. It, it's not a hard no. Um, but it is definitely... I don't feel like you feel like this is the time. Like, it's just not going to happen now. There's just too many fears that need to be transmuted, it looks like. And possibly in the near future, it will be time for the two of you. Um, this person might have more healing to do, especially if they're saying things like where they're still putting you on a pedestal. You know, it's like when you're in someone's space and they can't not notice you there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like they're always watching you energetically and you never really feel like alone or it's almost like their energy could be kind of smothering and um even if they're not talking to you or anything you can just like feel them thinking about you does that make sense and it's just like I don't know if they would still do that but it's that kind of energy that you're trying to like let go of okay huh and that might need to like can they be in a space with you and just do their own thing and not be triggered and not want to like connect and sort of like I want to say like codependent but I just like energetically like the chords that we create you know by overthinking about somebody um, by being too attached right attachment cords that aren't aligned with the divine like those need to go and you just like focus on your work you just you have feelings but you need space and you just kind of want to have all your ducks in a row. You kind of want to see. This is all about you getting grounded and like not getting sucked into any kind of energetic dance or play. That's just kind of toxic, really. Like it's like, I don't want to deal with your, it's almost like you don't want to deal with their like abandonment issues or like that kind of thing. I feel like that's what you're going to tell them. For some of you, you're cutting this relationship off or you're, if they come back around for union, you're just not going to give them the time, you know? Okay. You guys might be very ex extreme like opposites of each other too so it's hard to relate to each other on some level I feel like on a soul level there's a strong connection and this might be your partner in the future and this could be where it's just going to take time before I feel like you miss each other on some level But for you right now, it's just about staying grounded. Okay, I mean, they see you as like focusing on your coin. And you might want to just continue to do that. And you just don't know if this is like, you're just kind of on the edge of like, is this the ending? Is this the beginning? Like, I don't, Is this my person? Is this not my person? And it almost feels like you need space, but you have feelings for them. And so there's like a longing for that connection, but you're kind of choosing to stay. You want to be balanced and you feel like this isn't balanced. You just don't feel like this is balanced. Any advice for Virgo or spirit? Oh my gosh, eight of cups. Definitely breaking off from any kind of emotional cords that are unhealthy with this person. For some of you, Spirit's literally saying, like, this is, this is, like, disconnect emotionally. Huh. Ten of Cups. You know what? I work on the money. It's weird. It's, like, a page of Pentacles. Release the attachment. There's a strong attachment between the two of you guys. Um, that almost needs to be released before you could be balanced enough to love each other. You know, love is not desire. Love is beyond desire. Love is being. Love is what you are, you know? I see you kind of disconnecting or even spirits saying, go ahead and 
disconnect those emotional triggers and cords and attachments to this person so that you can have a happy connection with them or or anybody, right? You're like you guys are clearing like doing shadow work essentially. But beyond the rightness and wrongness, like there's this interesting there's a strong suggestion to release attachments, small petty things between the two of you. And it says like with the page of pentacles, it says beyond the rightness or wrongness of things there is a field I'll meet you there. It's like beyond the dance. Beyond the shadow, beyond the fear, beyond the push-pull stuff, there is a place for the two of you, but there needs to be releasing of control, you know? On your side, the control is to just block them, cut them off, because the energy's not stopping, and um, that's how you're navigating that, and it's just any kind of petty things that they're thinking about you, or about themselves, or vice versa, needs to be released and it looks like this is not the time but it looks like this is a very confusing powerful connection to you if you're wondering how they feel they feel like they're ready to try this again you don't feel that way and it doesn't look like this is the time right now so if that resonates let me know and if it doesn't check your other placements on moon rising and venus if you'd like a personal read my information is down below I appreciate you so much, Virgo, for joining me and sending you much love.